Hello friends and welcome to the channel. Uh, this video is very important. You're done with your NEET UG and maybe 2%, 3% out of you will be selected uh, through this process for MBBS, right? Now a question comes, how important is the ranking system of the medical college, right? You see quite often on different internet pages the ranking systems of different medical colleges. Now, how important is that? How important is the rank of your medical school, medical college? Now, let me tell you my background. I've done my MBBS from GMC Srinagar, which is not in that list of top medical colleges, right? So it's way behind. But then I did my MD from Ames, New Delhi. I had All India Rank 16 in the entrance exam for MD. I am now doing DM at Ames, New Delhi. I had All India Rank 1 in the DM entrance exam. Now, the point is, if I tell you at the end, I've spent so many years after MBBS. So ultimately, if you want to know one single answer, it is that your MBBS college matters the least out of your, you know, different degrees, MBBS, MD or super specialization. You know, your MD, your super specialization, it's important what college you've done your MD from or DM from or MCH from. But MBBS is basic medical teaching that is roughly the same throughout the medical college. So ultimately, this is the, it's sort of a final slide that I've presented quite early in the, in this, in this video. Your MBBS college probably matters the least. Okay, now, uh, so this is what I was talking about. If you open different, it's quite easily available on the net. The top medical college, you find that Ames New Delhi always tops the list. Then we have PGI Chandigarh, you don't get MBBS in these in such a college but this is a top medical institute cmc valor is a top medical institute nimans bangalore or bhu varanasi so all these are or jipmer or things like or kgmu from lucknow they are top medical colleges in the country now the point is what are your odds of getting in such a college this year neat or even the previous year some 17 18 lakh students appeared but how many seats are there available in these top 10 or top 20 colleges? Maybe 2,000, maybe three, maybe whatever. It's just a, it's quite low. So your odds are extremely low that you will land in a college like Ames, New Delhi, or for that matter, MAMC, or for that matter, say Subdurjan Hospital, the VMMC, or something like that, or KGMU Lucknow. But let me tell you the reality of MBBS. You know, irrespective of your college, let's understand that MBBS teaches you basics of all the medical subjects. There are 19 different subjects and MBBS will not train you fully in all these 19 subjects. It will just teach you the basics of these medical subjects. So you'll get to know basic medicine. You'll get to know basic surgical skills. You know, trust me, one, if you find an MBBS graduate, you will come to know that he's not a master surgeon, he's not a master physician, but he just knows basics of medicine and basics of surgery, okay? He gets an overview of the different disease processes, the, the, the mechanisms of different diseases, the way we treat these patients, they have an overview of all the different subjects, okay? So you develop a basic approach. Now let me tell you, this is common in all the medical colleges. Whichever government medical college you choose in your NEET UG, you will definitely be taught about the basics that you, that are mandatory. You'll definitely get that amount of information, that amount of knowledge, that amount of skills, right? So this is basic and this is done everywhere. Now, let me tell you, uh, don't go by, you know, different Bollywood movies. You'll find that someone who is selected for an MBBS, he is now a, a top-notch doctor doing surgeries and all. That's not truth. An MBBS student is just a student. He learns in a place here called as medical college, but actually it's just a medical school where you find students attending lectures in classrooms, doing practicals in different labs, or at the maximum, they will attend a hospital where they will be taught by a senior professor bedside, but they are not actively involved in treating patients. Wherever you go, whichever medical college is close to your house, go and visit that place. MBBS students are just students. They're just medical students, that's all. Okay, so and this amount of teaching is common in every government medical college, be that an old one like MAMC or be that something that is new that has been created five years ago. Okay, now so but there will be definitely there will be differences. 
it's not that Ames New Delhi is the same as the college that's created five years ago. No, there will be differences. Number one, I'm going to point out these differences because I want you to understand that there are perks that you will get if you join Ames or if you join MAMC or if you join some big college like CMC or whatever. Okay, so number one, your peers, your friends, your colleagues, they will be highly competitive. Now see, who joins Ames Delhi? The top 50 or top 100 students. So who joins MAMC? The top 200, 300, 400 students. Okay, so invariably in such a college, all of your batchmates will be very potent. They'll be very competitive, very smart, intelligent people, ultra productive people. So that is a benefit for a lifetime. If you grew up in a competitive environment, you will be smarter. Second, your caseload. So you get to attend these clinical postings in MBBS. If you work in a very big hospital, which has a huge caseload, all different varieties of cases, you'll get to see everything. So instead of remembering rote learning from a book about a rare disease, if you do your MBBS in Ames, you'll find every rare disease that's there in your book actually in your ward and you'll see that patient in reality. And that's true for exposure. Bigger college means more exposure. More exposure means a better training, right? Then these big colleges, they happen to exist in big cities like metro cities, okay? So there your lifestyle is a little bit better and you get to enjoy more things in these metros, okay? And of course, you have more extra opportunities in these medical colleges which would include different research activities. If you if you see, if you come to Ames someday and you see many of these MBBS students participating in different research projects, even I was surprised how active they are in different research activities. Why? Because they're sensitized to this domain of medical science at a very early stage of their career. That is different, a peripheral medical college, it, it's least bothered to teach you research activities at MBBS level. I wasn't taught at my college and most people are not, but these big colleges like Ames, they do involve young students, MBBS students in different research activities. That's a big advantage. Conferences, you get to attend so many national, international conferences, you know, at these big hospitals. And some places like Ames do provide you opportunities to do electives in different in different hospitals of the world. You can go to US or UK and do a month, one month rotation there. So that's an advantage. And the network is important. See, if you work in a big college, a big institute where you have top students, top, you know, top rankers. So they land up in different good colleges of this world, of the world, entire world. You know, someone may settle in the US, someone in the UK, someone in some other country or other places of this of this of, the, of our own country so you get to know a broad network of very competitive doctors so that is an advantage for a lifetime okay now next is what is not different see as i told you the basic medical teaching your basic medicine basic surgery you will learn from any government medical college or, or a good private medical college right it's not different your textbooks are the same your syllabus is the same and even these days you know i appreciate it that you have online coaching available every nook and corner of this world. So you can learn from the same teachers through different online apps. I'm not promoting anyone, but that's an advantage. If, if, if a very good teacher is teaching you on an online platform, that means it's accessible to everyone. Okay, and then your exit exams are the same. Your PG entrances are the same. So all these things are not different. You get to study the same books. You will get to study it from the same teachers even using these online platforms you will be given basic mbbs knowledge in every medical college of this country okay so you will be roughly at the same level as any other mbbs student while you're competing when you're competing with with them in in postgraduate entrances right okay then lifestyle it's roughly the same medical students read a lot but they do enjoy a lot as well okay and stress it's almost the same no matter whether you whether you're doing your mbbs from ames delhi or you're doing it from a peripheral medical college there will be some amount of stress so many exams and sometimes you know some departments are a little bit more stringent or they're more toxic that's true for every place okay so these things are not different the previous ones definitely different okay so there are some differences there are some basic things that are common to them but the point is what stays forever with you See, the college will last for five years. That name, that place is for five years, right? So, but your knowledge, 
will stay forever. Your clinical skills that you can acquire anywhere, they're, for, they're forever. You will stay forever. Whatever you learn in these five years, even if you learn it from a peripheral medical college, that stays you forever, right? So college names don't matter in the end. If you are a skilled person, if you are a skilled doctor, your college name will not matter. So uh, th that's my final message that in this NEET UG 2022 results in this counseling, whatever medical college you're getting, if you're getting it in a government college, fine. If you're getting in a good private college and you're affording it, fine. Take whichever college you're getting. Don't take a drop only to improve your rank, only to improve your college say you want to you want to read from a top college and today you're getting some some newly recognized college i suggest you join whatever seat you're getting okay and just work hard for the next five years complete your mbbs basic things are the same college don't matter in the end okay so my best wishes with you take care bye bye